Watch Dr. Drew's new show at 9 on HLN. Weeknights on HLN. It's amazing now, but we've been at war for almost a decade. More than 7,000 Americans have lost their lives. They were fathers, mothers, sons, and daughters. In in Cindy Sheehan's case, her boy Casey died in Iraq. Watch this, and then we will speak with Cindy. The year was 2004, a Sunday in April, and it was the last day of Casey Sheehan's life. His mother, Cindy, thrown into enormous grief. But it turned into resolve, and she became the face of the anti-war movement. Applauded by some, reviled by others, Sheehan pressed forward. She spoke, demonstrated, even camped outside President Bush's Texas ranch. That administration has come and gone. The Iraq war is winding down, but Sheehan's anti-war fervor is in full swing, and she herself continues to create tremendous controversy. Cindy seems to have turned her grief into an anti-war crusade, now even questioning the death of Osama bin Laden. Cindy, welcome. Uh, I'd like to put a, a, just to bring people up to date, uh, one of the things that prompted us to reach out to you today is you put something up on Facebook I wanted to ask you about. Uh, It said, I'm sorry, but if you believe the newest death of Osama bin Laden, you're stupid. Just to think think to yourself, they paraded Saddam's sons around to prove they were dead. Why do you suppose they hastily buried bin Laden at sea? So, Cindy, that's quite a statement. Do you believe that? Um, actually, I think it's a very good question. Why did they hastily bury Osama bin Laden at sea? And, you know, they, I, I'm really amazed, first of all, that the media would take something the White House says and just put it out like it's the truth just because the White House says it without any empirical proof. They said there was a matching DNA, but we haven't seen any DNA samples. We don't know who the DNA samples are from. They said that they had photographs, but the one that they did put out was, was exposed as a fraud that very first day. And the White House had to say, oh, well, you know, we just didn't want to put out the real photos because they're too grisly. I'm just really amazed that instead of people saying, wow, those are really good questions that people are asking, that um, I'm being reviled, and I'm being reviled on the CNN website, being called uh, in the lunatic fringe being called pathetic. I think it's pathetic to just accept these pronouncements from our government like they're the truth. Well, let's, like you let's, said, I was, well, let me continue. I was reviled when I went and said that the war in Iraq was a lie. Mm-hmm. And guess what? I was right. And so instead of like immediately labeling people, why don't we have a discussion about these things? Why, why won't the uh, government put out the photos? Why did they um, say that Osama fought back when then they said he didn't? Why did they say that he used his wife as a human shield and they didn't? Why did they say that um, Pat Tillman, why did they cover up the death of Pat Tillman? Why did they lie to us about the death of our son? Well, so come right. on, we have to start asking I, these questions and, I and not just accepting uh, everything now, our you're, government you're, says. That you're, I, I, I think that's a reasonable thing to say. Uh, bureaucracies are not people. They're not known for uh, always giving the most accurate information. Just so I'm clear, are you... Well, are bureaucracies you, are, are people. But are you, are, you, people. are you an <laughs> anarchist? Or are you a, a social... What, what, are you, what's your, so what kind of government should we have? Are you a libertarian? Well, I think we should have a, a government that tells us the truth. Uh, I don't know what that makes me. Does okay. that make me a truther that I want a government that is upfront and doesn't lie to us? And are you saying that Democrats and Republicans don't also want the truth? That what? I that I can't be, I can't be in the mainstream just because I want the truth.